tells the story of an Indian family struggle to regain their missing 12-year-old son, who they fear has fallen into the hands of child traffickers. Richie Mehta is the film's director. He joins us this morning. Good morning, Richie. Good morning. We just want to start by saying we pre-booked this interview weeks ago. It has nothing. There's no correlation. There's no foul play mm -hmm. with the missing boy. We've been running that story all morning long of mm -hmm. Elijah. Of this is a, a very different issue. Your film premiered in 2013 in Venice, continued through TIFF and many others. It's won awards. Um, I had the pleasure of screening it, and you do a beautiful job. It uh, takes us into not only the problems, but the hope that a family goes through when a child goes missing. Tell us the inspiration behind this. It was based on a real story, that the man you encountered in India. Yeah, it was, it was a rickshaw driver I encountered in India where he basically asked me for help in finding his son, who he had sent away to a factory for work in a different village. Uh, he never heard from him again, so he went searching for him. And the issues he, found, he, he faced in his search are not things that apply to you and, you and I. Mm -hmm. He didn't know what, how to spell the son's name. He didn't have a photograph of his son. He didn't know what the internet was. So I found the, the impediments in his search were purely economics. Um, so to me, it was, I mean, it was an emergency, of course, but to me, the, the, the limitations he faced, which didn't apply to anyone in, in this society, were so mm -hmm. devastating to me. They were life and death to him, and they were nothing to us. And it stayed with you, and it was so important for you to tell the story, and you do it beautifully. You take us into the intimacy of what it's like for this family in their very humble home. Mm -hmm. And also, by the time you're done watching it, you feel a parallel. You don't feel like it's worlds away. You don't feel like it's a problem yeah. you can't relate to. You just think, my gosh, how privileged we all are mm -hmm. and how you felt growing up in Canada versus seeing what happens in Delhi when you actually take the side streets exactly. and step out of the three and four and five star hotels. For sure. So ultimately, what are you hoping people take from watching this journey, this family struggle and journey? I honestly hope people can see compassion because I don't show what's happening to the boy. I show what's happening to the father and the family and in that environment. I want people to see that everyone who he, who he meets is trying to help him. I'm glad you said that because there were instant comparisons, as I'm sure you've heard a million times, to Slumdog Millionaire. Mm -hmm. That very much showed the tragedy and the horror that happens yeah. to the children. This is very much about the family's struggle and how they are dealing with a situation that happens all too often there. 60,000, up to more than 60,000 children go missing? Oh, well, far more than that. I mean, everyone has different conflicting numbers. Mm -hmm. But the fact that in the face of these types of crazy things that happen there, people, there's so much kindness that pervades. And they have no reason to help each other, but they do, because that's what holds that fabric together. So what do we do as a society that is privileged to feel like we can help when we watch a film like this and we feel impassioned and it stays with us? And that's the best kind of filmmaking, mm -hmm. is something that truly stays with you, resonates with you. How do we help people with their plight? You know, I, I've encountered people who have said, why don't you at the end of the film put like a website we can go to, a place we can donate. I don't think that's relevant necessarily here because I hope people will see this and in whatever capacity, whatever thing they love to do, they can maybe get inspired in that own way. I happen to make movies. This is the best thing I could have done for this. If you're a street sweeper or you, know, you work as a camera person or whatever it is, you know, whatever you can do in your capacity to, to, to be humane, that's yeah. what I feel. It's so well said. We are each other's pillars, truly. That's mm -hmm. why we need one another. You know, you touch upon technology and how we take it for granted here. Sure. You, you know, kids have two or three cell phones even, and there, you know, it's impossible for him to use technology to help. He us. doesn't he just know what the internet is. Doesn't have yeah. access to it. Yeah. And so many of us don't, and yet there's so many universal truths that there is uh, so much resilience in the human spirit mm -hmm. and so much hope. And you know that despite whatever tragedies you go through, you can rise above, you can continue, you yeah. can find yeah. a reason to laugh. I mean, the real person I met had to go to work. He didn't have a grieving period. He couldn't just sit at home and say, I'm depressed, I can't do this. And it's amazing to see when people can muscle through. I think we have a capability here, which we are starting to forget. And do you think it helps to get all of this love from different film fests around the world to then have it carry through as it's going to be showing beginning tomorrow at the yeah. Bell Light Box? It really does. I mean, it inspires me to keep going, but at the same time, it shows that uh, the issues I think are relevant seem to be relevant. And mm. people are connecting. And this is a, a Hindi language film in what you would consider a locality in Delhi, but it's a universal. Mm, this man touched you, and now you're touching so many of us. Thank Trying. you so much. It's called Siddharth. See it tomorrow. It is at the Tiff Bell Light Box. It opens tomorrow and runs through. You can check breakfasttelevision.ca. Make sure you see it. It really is a beautiful film. SiddharthTheFilm.com and at Richie Mehta. A pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.